can see in the gym live. I can see people talking. Oh, that was just me a second ago. Talking to Amina and Danya. And it's on. Where do people gotta go to see this? Where do you gotta go? Who knows? Well, how do we speak this? How do we get this on our cell phone? What's the website? For stream.tv slash for reasons. If you go on your phone right now and you put it use stream.tv slash for reasons. For reasons.com and click live stream, you will get to see this live right now. We got my whole bunch going in the building. have a problem in the city with our gun violence. Four Reasons presents the second annual Phoenix Classic. Bringing basketball players.
I need a map from every team. <laughs> Shamar, is that okay? You have a line, you're the sixth guy. Three minutes east, 18 minutes. Issa, let me know when you're ready. Titus, call Dania, please. She's needed now, not later. She's gonna introduce us, or introduce me, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you some questions ahead of time, so you're not you're thinking about it. What? You might have the bright light in your eye to it. Oh, no. like some real oh, beauty. Welcome to Georgia at Home. You guys are now watching the second annual Phoenix Classic Take a Stand Hand to Hand. And so, so far, you're too late. 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 you are Hey, what's up today, guys, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen? We're here live right now at the Phoenix Classic. Up right now, we got a representative from Team Push. He's gonna represent it. We're gonna ask, what's your name? Where are you from? My name is Abraham James, man. Straight out of JC, Jungle City, all day, every day, man. Nice, it's nice to be with you, Ives. Um, what team you play for? Uh, Push. Push Elite. Push Elite. You guys wearing those red and white jerseys? Let me see it a little yeah, bit. Show it to the camera. Push number one. Right here, let, yeah. let, 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 let us see what it's yeah. breaking. Okay. Yeah. So we got Jungle here right now, yeah, live. In the, yeah. We right know we at Church and Ghoul at Ryerson University, Kerr Hall, and we here with a representative who's in the finals. Team Push will be playing East End Dun Runs, and we just want to ask him a couple questions on the journey so far and uh, violence in the city, and also how things and events like these help stop create problems for others in the city so first question would be is this your first or second year in this tournament this is my second year in the tournament right last year you guys didn't do so well what this year you guys are in the finals what's the difference you guys you know what i mean we came more organized got a few off-season pickups you know what i mean everyone's focused now we're just trying to get it in now man it's all it's, it's all it's for all the marbles now so we're going hard so what's the game strategy for the finals against East End Dunrock? Push. Push all day, man. That's all we're going to do. Push. Okay. We're going to push the ball, push everything. Okay. So um, a lot of gun violence in the city, and this is an anti-gun violence basketball tournament. Yeah. How, how do you feel as a ball player that this helps, even if it's a little fragment, stop violence in the city? Uh, it, it's good. It's good for, you know, the city because, you know, you're bringing in um, – Teams from every part of the city, from the east to the west to the south, you know what I mean? So it's good. Everyone gets to know everybody. And you know what I mean? When we see each other around now, we can say, hey, you know what I mean? I played with that guy. So it's all love. Yeah, it's all love now. You know what I mean? Okay. So I don't know if they were watching earlier, but if you were watching, I have here hit a half-court three-pointer to break Ryerson's Rams heart. Um, really top shot, made it bottom of the net, took them to the quarterfinals. They just won that game. Can I ask a, a word, a comment about that shot? Because I personally called it on the bike. I was like, it looks like it's going in, and it hit the bottom of the net. So how do you feel about that, and what was your mindset before you got the ball? Well, all I was thinking was, you know, I got to get a shot up. You know what I mean? I knew I had to knock it down. And just thank God that it, it went in, man. You know what I mean? Praise the Lord. God is good. God is great. great. Ives, thank you for your time. All right, man. It was nice being here. Good yeah, luck man. in the finals. For sure, man. Thank you. That was Ives from Team Push. Next up, we got... Two bros, Wayne Smith and Dane Smith. Come through, bring a chair. Let's see, let's find out what the Wayne brothers are doing. Okay. Let's get Wayne here, please. Wayne's coming from the gym right now. He's probably sweating, running here. Oh, he's here, he's here. He's here live right now. Um, I'm gonna let you introduce yourself, the team you play for, and what you're doing right now with yourself. Uh, my name is Dwayne Smith, and I also play for Push. And right now, I just graduated from George Washington University, and I'm aspiring to play professional basketball. Congrats on the graduation, you, man. That's a big accomplishment. Thank you. Real big. 
Thank you, Good to see our fellow neighbors doing things like that. So um, you play on Team Push. I heard you guys are in the finals. Yeah, we're in the finals, man. We uh, we just push, <laughs> just push, played hard, and uh, we're, it seems like we're uh, a fan favorite. So hopefully we'll go and uh, win the finals. Okay. So how much games you guys play to make it to the finals so far? Uh, this is going to be our fourth game. Fourth game. Yeah, fourth game. So the finals will be your fifth game. Oh, uh, no, no, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be. Finals will be your fourth game. Yeah. So you guys haven't lost today in the yeah. tournament? Oh, uh, we lost once. We lost once. To what team? Uh, East End. Oh, the team we're playing in the finals. The team we're playing right now. Politics. Yeah, <laughs> man, it's going to be, it's going to be a, a revenge game, a revenge game. So. so what's your strategy, your personal strategy? Because you make, I see you making a major impact personally on the court. So for a push, that organized team at like East End done runs, what's your strategy? Uh, me personally, I just want to, uh, just not let those guys take me out of my game because I, I know a lot of those guys um, from uh, the East End. You know, I played I played with a lot of them since uh, since like back in high school. So I know those guys' games inside out. I just want to play my game and uh, and make sure that they don't uh, take me off of my game, basically. Okay, that sounds like a strategy that might just help you guys get to where you guys need to go. So, um, have you played in the Phoenix Classic last year? I have not. This is my first time playing. It's my first time playing. What do you think about the tournament so far? Honestly, I really like this tournament. It has um, a lot of positive impact on the community. Like Ivan said earlier, it has a lot of people who are coming around, coming out um, from different areas, and it just like it's just a positive um, impact. It's a positive vibe, just to show that you know a bunch of guys coming around. Um, we don't have to you know do bad things. You know, it's just a good event to have, bring a bunch of guys from different areas together and have a positive environment in the community. Okay, that sounds great. So you're going in the finals. Your final game starts at 8 o'clock tonight. Yes, sir. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in the finals. All right, sure. Man. Thank you. Take it easy. Have a good day. You too. Can I get Dwayne to come and see me? You. I'll take you. Yeah, come through. Man, like Wayne Smith. Can I get Wayne to come through? Wayne. I don't know where he is, though, but hopefully he comes through soon. Oh, he's here. Oh, what's good? What's oh, good? he's good. What's up, Wayne? Doing good. Thanks. Yeah, we live right now at the Phoenix Classic 2013 Anti-Gun Violence Basketball Tournament Phoenix Classic. We got a represent from what jersey, Riz? Let me see that jersey. Rep it. Push, Team Push. Push Elite. He's going to tell us where he's from and what he's doing right now in basketball. Uh, from Toronto. Uh, the jungle area. Okay, shout uh, out to Jungle first. Get your name, because I didn't say full. Uh, Dane Smith. Dane Smith. Uh, I went to the University of Tennessee at Martin, <laughs> Division One school in the States. Nice. And this past season, I played in the MVDL in Canada. I played in the London Lightning team, okay. and they won the whole championship. So, oh, so you won, so you're a winner. <laughs> you're like coming that. from a winning season, and you're now you're in the finals about to win this. Yeah. Um, so, okay, what position do you play on the court? Uh, shooting guard, point guard. Shooting guard, point guard, combo guard? Yep, combo. How tall are you? 6'3". 6'3", how much do you weigh? 185. You feel underweight or overweight? Uh, athletic. Feels in shape. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good for me. So you play uh, East End Dunn runs in the finals at yeah. this Phoenix Classic Anti Gun Violence Tournament. Mm -hmm. But before we come to that, yesterday we had a violent situation. I think it was in Brampton University. And uh, it was our fellow basketball player. I don't know if we know if his name is Ricky. Yeah. So I just want to, you know, just send our condolences to Ricky. Let him know we're thinking about him even though he's not here. Yeah. Uh, enough love and just uh, give us an idea of how things like this tournaments or events even in a small scale can help stop violence on the streets in your opinion uh, my opinion uh, stuff like this where it brings uh, a lot of people out from different communities because mm -hmm. sometimes the West End the East End Brampton they don't get a chance to see faces and so you know when you bring everyone into one gym it's more friendlier sure. environment see faces that are no that would be strangers so now ease back on the violence so it's this is a good event if it helps in a little way, then it helps a lot. Way, it's your first or second year playing in this tournament. Ah, uh, first year. Last year I missed it because I was at school doing summer school. <laughs> doing summer school. Uh, what do you yeah. think about it? It's good so yeah. far. Yeah, it's, it's good. How's the competition? The people you're playing against. You know any of them? Seen them before? Played against them before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did actually. The East End team. I went to school in the East. Okay. So I know most of those guys. But the competition for like for each area for each team is pretty good. For real, good comp. All 16 teams, you would say? Or did you play about four or five games today? Four or five. Four or five games till to this day? Yeah, but I'll say from top to bottom. Top like, to bottom. Good top comp. teams. Good comp, bro. Yeah. That's a great compliment for this tournament. Thank you guys for being here. Mm -hmm. Shout out to you, Wayne. Mm -hmm. Thanks for your time, baby. Really Appreciate best of luck in the finals. Push a lead representative yeah. in the yes. finals. Uh, 
Uh, yes, sir. We're going to look for Jason Burke right now. He's part of our Phoenix Classic movement right here. One of our sponsors. And when we see, oh, here he is right here. Jason, oh, Jason Burke here right now. We just know he's here to represent himself, represent his company organization. Thank you, Jason, for being here. What up, what up? Cut. Okay, we can pause. I didn't know. I'd ask for a pause a long time. Hey, it looks, you should see what it looks like. like this green stuff is all gone. Gone. I know nothing about technology. I just see like. <laughs> you see a it beer like backwards. It's like Sports yeah. Center. It is Sports Center. We just hit. Let me just check it out. For people here and for you guys at home. So you all think you're ready? Sure. This is your time to shine. Everybody crazy. 
And we don't even know, like we don't know, but we don't care till it hits close to home. I think about the stars that will never shine, dreams that will never see, goals that will never set, and will never be achieved. Lives that will cut short, who is it that we should blame? Why is it so many young people lying in the grave? Everybody want to fix, but ain't nobody want to change. We don't want to change ourselves, and everything remains the same. I'd be lying if I said that it don't hurt, cause we live in life, we don't recognize our own world. We can live a bright future, even on this cold earth. I just pull cool back and bring some change with a dope verse. Why is it that? Because people are moved to make a change, somebody gotta lose their life. Why is it that? On Sundays, church is empty, but the seats are packed when somebody dies. Why is it that? We don't celebrate the lives of those who claim to love until they're gone. Why is it that? Is it? Why? 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 Why is it that? Why? Why? Did they? They never taught us. 
So I try to help you take control of their emotions. And what is the tool that I help them with? Positive self-talk. What do you say to yourself in times of need? What do you say to yourself in times of crisis? Think about it this way. When you're getting ready this morning, you're brushing your teeth, looking in the mirror. Well, I hope you're brushing your teeth. But when you're brushing your teeth, looking in the mirror, what did you say to yourself? Did you take control of that voice? If you don't take control of the voice inside, you're passing it. Mom's on the watch. She's telling me for reason I can't take it in. But you're not playing, so I'm annoying on to that. Now listen, I'd like to end off with a little story about a kid I know named Self. Now, some of you might know the story of yourself. Following the friends and trends of somebody else's self, wondering why myself isn't strong enough to fend for itself, waking up confused on who I, he, or she really is, when all it is, you, is yourself. Speaking of me, myself, and I, like you really have no immediate need to fly, but you're so good at protesting and grounding yourself on the awful mess your story has now become. So I say, put the bricks off your chest and find the strength to digest the person you really are. And always will be more than self. Thank you for your time. One love. Thank you, Leo Barr, for that really inspirational piece. Right now, we have Mr. John Rivers. Um, he's also got a story for us about how he's been affected by gun violence, and um, he's also going to perform for us. So none other than Mr. John Rivers. Here you go. Um, what up, everybody? My name is John River. Um, I'm 18. I'm from Mississauga. Um, last year, in March, my cousin who lived with me was actually murdered. Uh, around the 23rd, um, and he has like a one, two-year-old child. Um, so I just want to thank everybody out here for coming out um, to a positive event. Let's talk about uh, some issues that we can really deal with in the community. So I'm just gonna get right into it. Young black fellow, mulatto with the face, half black, half yellow. The grotto with the place, nigga, gun straps bellow. Brothers moving key, trigger shooting threes like they named Carmelo. They blame for the Knicks, the spray for some bricks. Paws on the corner that the slave for some chips. I ain't talking lazy, yo. Gas the blaze, bro. Robbing for your dollars and they snatch your pesos. They spray with gas and straps, say they say it's black on black. I think it's whack, they think the facts is that we capping all the cats. They trapping all the rats that be ratting on the cats. That they think our gang related cause the color of their cats, brother. Please, am I the only one to see a trigger squeeze? Walking down my corner, see a brother bleed. Tell me what you do about it. Do I believe in change? Well, I guess I do doubt it. I see a young brother already smokes and drinks, so he got a strong liver. Government controls what he thinks to get the months quicker. He thinks there's none sicker. I said, what's your two favorite words? He says, gun trigger. Close the money. Hundreds. I said, brother, ask for two words. He said, I guess it ain't funny in the hood with dark lights, the dark lights. They don't like the smart type. Difference out here looking like apartheid. Improvement of a child is a movement to a better home. It's sad when kids say they left their home, took be left alone. I'm trying to set the tone, society's a pressure zone. Sometimes I wish life lessons could be taught. And rich at a stone, tend so they can teach us. Before the evil reaches, like why pop can't believe us and the cops don't believe us. A baby got shot, but then they went in freedom. He's facing five to ten for cop with a pair of sneakers. And tell me, is that because he black? Is that because he racist? Or is the judge just a, and always is faceless? His wife on a facelift, then he disagreed. So he decided to come to work and take his anger out of me and I said, I don't want to be anything other than what I'm trying to be lately. All I have to do is think of me and have peace of mind. No, no. I'm tired of looking around, wondering what I got to do or who I'm supposed to be. I don't want to be anything other than me. I said, I'm praying for heaven. This world's looking hellish. When it start being cool, for brothers to embellish and they rap lines, track lines, saying that you sell it. It's time I ring the bell on what these brothers trying to tell us. I'm just a good looking black kid. Really likes to rap bitch, police pull me over. Think I'm selling crack, which really doesn't surprise. The eyes of these guys, I'm just another brother about to do a drive-by. Buy red or buy blue, probably think I'm hot too, but the only place a brother trying to go is drive through. Wendy's, BK, McDonald's for a burger. But all these brothers see is young black male murder. Thank you very much. Wait, right away. When I say
say for, everybody say reasons for. Reasons. For. Reasons. Y'all can do better than that. I go by the name Epic. I'm going to perform a song today for y'all called Drive. It's about ambition. Uh, you know, I was asked to speak about gun violence. I had a friend who was in a pizza shop and somebody came through and started shooting through the window and shot him clean in the head. He had two children. Now those children don't have a father. You know what I mean? So stop the gun violence. It's that simple. One more time. And the energy this time. When I say for, everybody say reasons for. Reasons. For. Reasons. Great. Hit that. Thank you. 
And if you have big dreams, make some noise for yourself. Thank you. Thank you very much, Epic. Much appreciated. All right, so earlier today, everybody in the audience has been given a piece of paper. Um, we're going to be doing an activity really soon, but for everybody who's in the audience, you guys can most definitely tune into live stream and you can actually watch what's going on right now. You go to www.4reasons.com and there's a live stream tab, just click on it. So at this time, I would like everybody who has been given a piece of paper, if anybody who has lost somebody to gun violence, write a name. If you don't want to write your na the name, you can put initials. And then we're going to invite Yomi, who's going to lead us into a prayer and a moment of silence. During this moment of silence, we invite everybody to raise your pieces of paper in the air in memory of whoever you lost to gun violence. Yomi? All right, so let's have a moment of silence for those who have been affected by gun violence, and not just the victims themselves, but also for the families and the friends of those who have been lost. So if we can bow our head for this moment of, of silence. Father, only you know the wounds and you know the hurt, you know the depths of the pain that is felt by those who have been affected by gun violence. And you know the hearts of those who have been affected and their desire to see change. You know their desires to see similar situations avoided in the future. But despite our desire, Father, we are incompetent. We are not able to see it happen or to make it happen. But with your grace and with your help, we can see a difference in our lives. We can see a difference in our homes. We can see a difference in our community and in this city, in this country, and worldwide. So we're asking, Lord God, that you will help us, that you will comfort those who are feeling pain, that you will comfort those who have experienced some sort of relation to gun violence, and we're praying, Father, that you'll bring an end to it in this city. It doesn't have to continue, Lord God. With your help, Lord God, we can bring an end to this foolishness and to this carelessness. Because I'm sure that none of us want it to continue. None of us want to see it happening in our backyards, in our homes. None of us want to be affected this way. And I pray that you would empower us to take a stand. To take a stand in the community. To take a stand in our homes, in our schools, everywhere we go against gun violence, Lord God so that it will no longer affect us, that we'll no longer be hurt, that we'll no longer experience the pain, that lives and families will no longer be shattered, Lord God, but that you will bring an end to it, that you will bruise the plan of the enemy for our homes, for our lives, Lord, and that you will give us the grace to overcome, wipe every tear away from every eye, and mend every broken heart. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If anybody has that piece of paper, you can put it up in the air right now to commemorate whoever you've lost to gun violence. We live that, guys. Again, you guys are tuned in to the second annual Phoenix Classic. Take a stand in the hand anti gun violence basketball tournament. And right now, we're going to throw it back to Jeremiah in the studio oh, for shit. more player interviews. Stay yeah, tuned. We got Push and Elite coming soon. Push and Easton coming soon. Hey, what's up guys? We're here live right now at the Phoenix Classic 2013 Anti-Gun Violence Basketball Tournament. To my right hand side here, I got a ball player. I'm going to let him introduce himself. What's your name, Big Bear? What's up, everybody? My name is Shaquille Keith. Hey, Shaquille, what you doing? What team you play for? Um, I play for um, for this tournament. I play for Warriors. Um, and also, I play for Cape Breton University. I just finished my first year. I was a rookie and uh, it went well. Nice to know that. Nice to know that. Is this your first or second year in this Phoenix tournament? It's actually my first year. How oh, you like it so far? Oh man, it's a good competition, man. I see a lot of older heads, a lot of young guns. You know, it's great basketball over here, man. Thanks. Come back next year. Shotgun, I love shotgun. No, I'm 
a lifetime though. So um, it's an anti-gun violence themed basketball tournament and just uh, let people know you as a, as a basketball player through your perspective, how can an event like this, bringing all 16 teams from 16 different communities together, help stop or at least slow down the violence on the street even in a little way? Well, I mean, the, the great thing about this, the, the game of basketball, it, it, it's something that brings unity between different hoods, different people. Like, I mean, down the road, there could be a, a young man or a young woman that plays basketball and down the street gets in trouble, but then somebody remembers that person from a tournament and say, holy, that person's nice or that person is this and they have a good attitude and they're like, you know what? That alone will help and save people most of the time. You know what I'm saying? Especially in this day and time, like violence is getting real hard. And I mean, basketball, we, we know a lot of people, the community is built around the basketball type community. So I mean, I know a lot of older heads, a lot of people like, you know what I'm saying? A lot of older, older mans that pass down the, the torch to me, like saying, yo, young boy, I need you to stand be again. better, stand, go, go future, go for get your education, yeah, things like that, because yeah, they've been cool. through so much and they know that, you know what I'm saying, the life out here is, is hard. So, I mean, it's a blessing to be honest, to be to have this basketball turn, to bring everybody back together. All the basketball players for the last 10 years, Denim Brown, Big Shane, all of these boys, from the last 10 years, every hooper from every hood that made it, Kadugan, we have everybody out here. And I mean, it's, it's, it's something real good to see that everybody can come back together, the black community, and make it, just make our life better. So next year, we're going to be doing the same thing, and you'll be here? Oh, definitely. I'm out here. Man. Thank you, Shaq, for your time, and yes, sir. we'll see you next year. And good luck in Cape Britain. Yes, sir. Thank okay, you. Okay, thank you. Next up, we got Akeem coming through from Team Reasons, Inc. And uh -huh. yeah, you don't know. Thanks, Shaq. See you later, baby. Reason Inc. Green, he's going to introduce himself and tell us about what he's doing right now. What's your name? Where are you from, homeboy? Uh, Akeem Isaac from Scarborough. Where, where are you at? What are you doing with yourself right now? Right now, I'm just getting ready to go through for this training, getting everything ready for the season next year at York University. So you're at York right now? Yes, sir. Nice, nice. That's yeah. great news. So what team you play for in this tournament? Play for the home team, Reason Inc. Reason Inc. Green, for how did sure. they go? Tough loss? It went, it went really good, you yeah. know, just had a tough loss. We went next to Key Bear and the other teams at the end, you know, won two possessions. So it goes well, you know, we okay. played hard though. So you're going to be here next year in the tournament? Oh, yes, most definitely, most definitely. All right, keep yes, it up next year at York. All right, man, thank you. Thank you for coming through. For sure. Okay. Jason. Oh, let's go, Pops. I didn't know. Let's go, baby. We got Pops coming through from the East End Dunn Run Squad. Phoenix Classic finalist. Good to have you, Pops. What's going on, man? Tell them your name, where you're from, where you're repping. What's your uh, squad name? Uh, I'm Pop Opa. Yes, uh, from sir. Scarborough. Yep. Running with the East End. Mm -hmm. um, you know what? Just trying to, trying to make it happen in this tournament, man. Great tournament, man. Thank you. Thank you. How was the competition so far? Great. Everything's been good. It's been really well professionally ran. Thank you. You know, the guys, are everyone's out here playing hard. And, you know, this is what I love. This is what the city of Toronto is about, man. So you have a final game right now, about to play push. What's the strategy? What's the game plan? Yeah, we got to go out there. We just got to play hard because they're going to be hungry. We already played them earlier. So, you know, I know they're going to come after us. We just got to come out hungry and just play hard. You're going to be in this tournament next year? Of course. It's a yearly thing for me, man. <laughs> it's a Good. yearly thing, man. All right, Pops. Thanks All for right, coming man. out. Good luck on your game. And All I'll right, see man. you in the gym. Okay, thanks for having me. Jason Burke, where you at? We got a rep Colden representative, one of our main sponsors. Made this pretty shirt for us. We're going to get him. See what he says and let him know. What's your name? What are you repping, baby? Nice, nice to have you, baby. What's Always a pleasure. Jason, what up, everybody? What Jason, up, world? How you doing? So what, what do you represent? What's this? What's your logo here? Um, Rep clothing. It's a clothing line I, I've been doing for a while now. Um, you know, just to, 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 to get my mind in a good spot and keep out of trouble. So it started as a, you know, something to keep me get out of trouble and it turned into a business that, you know, I'm finally making some money on. That's, yeah, money is everything, money. <laughs> unfortunately. Yeah. So how do we get a contact with your information? Or with, where do we get to see your clothes? How do we get to do all that stuff? Um, so you can hit me up at www.repclothing.ca. Um, you know, all the stuff is there. I also have seven locations around the GTA. You got Proper Reserve, okay. um, Community 54, Addies, um, Ecstasy. Okay. So just, if you go to the website, you can see all the, the, the stores that carry the brand. So what are some of the merchandise and the things you sell? So we have like, we have the hats, we have the shirts. We did the, the, we did the, the Phoenix Classic shirt, special edition. So, you know, just look up, go to the website and see what you can see. Be responsible for this, Rep Clothes. Show them the logo. It's on the, the box. Right here, right you know here. Where to get him, Jason Burke. Thank you for being at the Phoenix Classic 2013 tournament.
You're my dude. You be here next year? Always. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Phoenix Class of 2013. We out. Thanks for being here. We live stream. This is what we do. And until then, see you next year. Phoenix on the card is coming in December. It will be at Ryerson's Kerr Hall University Gym. It's going to be in the month of December. We're in the same theme, anti-bullying basketball tournament, single elimination, official refs. We're going to have eight elite teams from high school and we're going to do it big. This is called the Phoenix Undercard, made to you, brought to you by four reasons. And with the next tournament, anti-bullying, we're trying to spread the word, and spread love, not war, be for each other, not against each other, and just at the same time, communicate, network, grow, build. So Jason, we have more time. Anything I didn't leave, anything you didn't get to ask? Um. No, I just, you know, I just want everybody to, to know that we should put the guns down, pick up the basketballs, pick up whatever you're good at. If you can't ball, pick up a pen, yes, write, sir. draw, you know, there's so much other things, man. So, I you know, just, this is a good thing, good, good, uh, you know, it's going, you know, it's coming from a good place and it's promoting a good thing. So through your perspective, you know, you're not a ball player, you're an actual representative of your own company, which is a great thing. How was the competition as a viewer, not a ball player? I know you do play ball. Yeah. How was the competition as a as a as a spectator here? Like watching it, you know, I'm I'm an original junglist, so my push team was in it, and they're they're in the finals right now. Shout out shout to push. Out, shout out to push. Thank so you. seeing those games were good. I, the, the athleticism is out. It's crazy. These guys are dunking, getting blocked while they're going for dunks. Like <laughs> this is stuff I stopped playing basketball in high school. This stuff wasn't happening, <laughs> and you know, like so. The, it's good. Like I'm, I'm, I'm seeing. I'm see, It's worth money. People who are paying their five bucks to get in are, are getting their five bucks worth. They should actually be paying more. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, that's good news. Man. We're on the charge in here. It's for charity. You know, we're just trying to keep dreams alive, open up doors, start new things. You know, at the same time, you can hit us for reasons on Facebook. You can for reasons us on Twitter. You can for where else? We everywhere. We have our own website, hey, fourreasons.com. You can Instagram us on four reasons as well. We're just building and growing. So next year, we're planning to do a next tournament with more teams. For all those who don't know, there were 16 teams in this tournament this year, the Phoenix Classic Undercard Tournament. And I apologize for that, but you know we're gonna the, the push team is gonna be the one to finish it all. I just to add that the push team is gonna be the number one team. A little bias on my right side, but you know I have no enough. bias. You know it's fair, it's fair. East End Dunn Runs is about to start with Team Push and. Where these two teams let the best team win. You I gotta push, shout, man. I wanna push. Sh yes, I wanna shout out our sponsors. I wanna shout out the NBA, the Canada League. That's a big thing for us. They're one of our main sponsors. Michael Pinball Clemens Foundation, one of our main sponsors. Wendy's, one of our sponsors. Patty King, one of our main sponsors. Adidas, Rep Clothing. If I forgot y'all, I forgive me, please. But. You know, I'm gonna get Priya from Urbanology Magazine to come shout out what she's gonna give the winning team. And with that said, I'll see you guys in a couple of minutes. Jason, thanks for your time. Always. Less. Margarita, can I get? Yeah. Priya. Priya, are we doing Priya? Priya, Purple, can I get Priya? No. Okay, so can we just do Priya? Cause the... Yeah, so let's get Priya, man. Keep that, it's gonna... Priya, let's go, beautiful. You coming too? Okay. Yeah, Marguerite, don't worry about the warm-ups. If you get those two coaches from Push, I'll do them too. Hi, Priya. Hi. <laughs> yeah, I'll be short. Okay, tell me when to start. Okay, right now we're here with our representative from Urban Island Magazine. Represent, let us know who you are and what you represent, please. My name is Priya and I represent Urbanology Magazine and UrbanologyMag.com. Nice. And what are you guys providing? I heard a little rumor, but I want you to explain. <laughs> what are you guys providing for the winning team this year? We are providing a feature on the winning team. Nice. Um, we also provided already some coverage of the actual initiative and the event prior. So you can check that out on UrbanologyMag.com right now right now. So how long has Urbanology Magazine been around? Tell me a little bit about them. So Urbanology has been around for over eight years now. We've been putting it down in the Toronto scene as well as covering things internationally and around the world. We cover music, technology, fashion, culture, and we're really just trying to be and always been a positive voice for urban culture on the newsstand. 
So what exactly is your position in Urbanology Magazine? I'm one of the co-founders and I'm the editor-in-chief. Thank you for sponsoring us and being a part of this great initiative. It's very close to my heart because I do a lot of things in the community as well and I feel like this is a great event and a great, and a great cause. Thank you. Well, we're grateful for that, for reasons. So Priya from Urbanology Magazine, thanks for being here. No One problem. of our major sponsors. When it will be in summer edition. What month? What month? In September. September. Yeah. So in September, we'll see you there. Thanks for tuning in at the Phoenix Classic Basketball Tournament Anti-Gun Violence. And if you ain't here, get here now. The finals are about to start. East End Dunn Runs versus Team Push. Priya and myself, we out. We're going to watch the game. Thanks for your time. Peace. My name is Will Strickland. My name is Brendan Watson. We are from TSN 1050s. Road on Walk with Will and Dwayne on TSN 1050 Radio. Here in the T dot. About to announce this game. Let's have a good one. Shout out to my man, the boy Joseph. I saw him in the house earlier. His dad, DJ. Know he's around somewhere. I see you. Eighteen minutes stop time has Don't we wait for it? Get this off and back where it started, yes sir. Huh? Here goes the push. This goes right to Bassett. And two. Good shape. Setting it off early, going right to the short camp for two. Look inside the big man. Stay away, jumper. No way at all. That first possession comes up before he pushes it up. No lead for three. No good. Offensive rebound. They reset up top. No good for number 11. Marbell up with the rebound. Turnover. They might want to stop the ball on the way to the floor. Set the pace. He's going to bring it up. You got a block side. Let's see if you can get left in the first half. Pushes up through a ball. Looking down the board. Oh, travels from the big fella, Bardo. Big, big three downtown. That was stop. First down. He's been giving a lot of offensive rebounds early. 4 3 with 16 26 left in the first half. You know, we got both teams from the opposite end of the field. Yeah, that's the case off the finals right there. Of course, we the only play Eastern Conference and Western Conference. There you go. He sinks the first. Five three. Push. Completes. Three throws. Six three. Push. Wrestling 
season so early, as they should, in the final best of by the guys. Chris steps to the strike for two. 
his team down five early. It's a Fins Classic. Second annual Fins Classic. Championship game. A little short on the first one. Oh, turnover. 
Kids finding parents, parents finding kids. Let your gratitude be your attitude. Substitution game number five. He's in staying tight for the game. One more substitution. Push is looking for another defensive stop with this player right there. Let's go off. Nine seconds for the shot clock. You know. Not everyone is used to playing with a shot clock, the way. Well, Fresh has 14 seconds for the shot clock. I didn't know that. This is reset on 24. So I didn't give it a I said nine seconds for Fresh myself. Oh, the fadeaway. No play out. The score for Ashton. Number 12 with the rebound and the push by push. Looking for Dwayne again. I got him there. Dwayne with the grown man business to the horse car. I can put his hands there. No good on the rush. Dribble drive by 1-5. Dwayne with the grown man business to the horse car. I can come in again close to the horse. Dwayne says, I eat along from deep. Now, guys. Kids, mind your parents, parents, mind your kids. 
Let your gratitude be your attitude. So Robert, we're gonna pop quit. Stop this three four line. Stop the way we Pop two. Nice and smooth, oh. Don't feel. That's his that's his next nickname now. Nice and smooth. So I'm gonna nice. Oh, Brandon Jennings to the left. Oh, away with the rebound. No relation. He turned around the top, turned around the three. No good. Nice and smooth with the rebound. Good stuff. Go on. That's Justin. That's Justin. Stop that guy. 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 Stop that
Oh, 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 Dwayne down there battling. Dwayne no relation down there battling with Bert and Bert that. He's there, but he's going to cut down the room. One way traffic, handling the rock. Oh, he's not right there. He's lifting. How far the room? Nice and slow and free from deep. No good. Bert that, Bert that with the rebound. Sit down. Ryan with the floor. Here's with the push. Double down on I here long. He lets go three, no good. Birdman, Birdman with the rebound. Back to the food. Bring the ball up. One love on the baseline for triples. No bueno. Ball out the push. Some pushing in the game. Can we hit the horn? Thank you. Thank you very much. With 414 left in the first half. Push is up 32 26. Kids, mind your parents, parents, mind your kids. Bring the fan, bring the ball, we're half court. Being got about the ball. Flip the side of Dwayne. Dwayne got 15 points already in the game. I ain't alone with the dish. One more to the basket. I feel no good. That's the truth of the boys. It's tough. Uh oh, it's two balls. One way to the top, three. No way to go. It's a rebound. By one cup. Ryan, Ryan. Ryan with the rebound. Ryan looks like he just came from a Trace song video shoot. Doing his thing. Two shots for Ryan. He stands up first. Boy, it's not enough both these right there. Out of the game, one way traffic. And what's the layup? And now started. For the hockey business. He is. I was shooting lands every time I was Ryan with the second free throw. 12 point game. He's there looking for a stop. Push. 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 He took it strong to the hole. He took it strong to the soil. And he got fouled. And earned two shots. No oh. doubt. Big play. Big shit. Shane dropped the first substitution. I love the end of the game. Her right. And then he's never big shame. I see him. Big shame. I see it, but he's not that big. Oh. See? But he, to his son, he's big shame. There you go. Oh, we're going to the second shot. This is two. Three and a half left the first half. Action. Look at the side. Look at the bar drop. Bar drop. Look at the side. Go so. Action with the spin on. Oh, 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 sit down. Ryan got the kill. Push on the push. Ooh, that must be a charge. Oh, thank you, God. Push side to push, but they push too hard. Number seven brings the ball up to the east end. Now we can grab him. Grab him. Grab him. That looks like Marvell. Marvell was the jumper. Fading away. No good. Offensive rebound, East End. Thank you, sir. Nice and smooth. The fadeaway. No way no once again. But the foul. But I don't know how foul. Of course she was. You said the thing about a second chance opportunity. Well, both teams. Substitution in the game with 249 left in the first half. Oh, good. Wow, it's up 5, 33, 28. It looks like. It's not going to possession. Correct, sir. Are we playing neighborhood group rules? No. 
It's going to be a skill testing question. Do you know your Canadian ballers? Stay tuned for that. If you guys have friends, family at home, you guys are talking to them and saying how live the game is right now, tell them they can watch to www.fourreasons.com. Click on that live stream button and they're good to go. We're back in action right here. Wall Wayne got a spot. We got the way to cover your way. Oh, Wall Wayne tapped for three. Oh. Numbers right in the way. No relations. Space. Only three points. Let's do it in flat. That's a tough shot. Rhino breaking the ball up. What? Oh. What happened there, Will? The ball says Spalding, not Samsonite. It was Troy Wayne. Had the chance to tie the game during the halftime. No way it's happening. Bringing the ball up. I love us on high screen. Wayne goes to the ball down. Too low. Not really a good pass by one way traffic. Sir, that's not his specialty though. No, it is not, sir. Especially when you bring the ball from the hole. One plus one equals 11. Bringing the ball up right now for push. Wants to go to the And it yeah. The continuation going in the finish classic. Wow. wow, I didn't know the rooting would stop right there. Yes. But, you know, and you know what? These plays, you know, determine a lot of the game. They had a chance to tie the game or at least get closer. Turn the ball over, give up a layup, and one. <laughs> One plus one. Oh, no, that's four one. one. That's two one. Completes the three point play. One plus one equals eleven. Bringing the ball up for a piece in. One way shot with the mic. Why about the three? Callum. Isaac, Bryson. Five it once again. I need a hole for three. Yeah. Playing with 18 points in the first half. Pulling his squad in the championship game. One second left in the first half. Marvell Fouts going to the basket. He's going to shoot too. Kids mind your parents, parents mind your kids. Let your gratitude be your attitude here at the second annual Phoenix Basketball Classic, the championship game. Hey! Hey! Marvell to strike for two. His team now six. Completes the first of two. It's all down to the defense. What's that? All down to the defense. You blast the attack into this, then they make the cross. Right here. As the rain goes down the rebound. One ball bringing the ball to the basket. I D. No way. Bueno. They've been strong on our side. Grab over the steal. Turnover. Pull up. By two ones. No bueno. Right over the rebound. Oh. Another turnover. One way to the fire. Right over the second. No. One way traffic with the layup. 42 seconds left, three point game. Competitive. It's a good shot. Right over the rock. Service is five and the floor. Bramble's giving it for room. Right on top. Third. Right no good. Right on the floor right now. Bramble throws it deep. No good. At the half. 
join us. Baby, so I'm gonna go. I'm here with the coach. What's your name and who are you coaching? Chris Francis, coaching East End. East End done runs. I see you guys in the finals playing Team Push. Incredible, incredible game right now. Well, how's it looking for you? What do you see out there? It's looking good for us right now. I just think our main thing is that we got to get back in transition. They're getting a lot of transition baskets, and it's kind of making our defense unbalanced. So as long as we get back in transition, I think we have a good shot at winning this game. Okay, and that's the most important point. So how was the journey to this point thus far? It was good. We've been down in all of our games except one, so we've been here before, so we're not really too worried. So, yeah, this is where we're at now. So how much games have you guys played so far to make it this far? I think this is game five. This is the fifth game? Yeah, this is game five. So how's the competition? Competition is good. It's nice. good talent, yeah. Okay, so I know you're busy. I don't want to keep too much of your yes. time. Thanks all again right. for your time, and good uh, luck in the finals. Thank you. Okay, now up we got Teens Push Coach Icy going to introduce himself. And it's halftime right now at the Phoenix Classic 2013 Anti-Gun Violence Basketball Tournament. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And yes, we sir. have a representative, the coach from Team Push. Introduce yourself and your team, what you stand for. My name for. is Ice, and it's Push, Perseverance, until success happens. Yes. You know what we do every day. So it's you guys good. are in the uh, finals right now, halftime. I'm pretty sure you guys are up. What's, what's going good for you, what's not? Oh, uh, man, we, we kind of walking the ball up a little too much. We, I think we need to push it, but we, we'll, we'll be good. We got the crowd behind us, you know what I'm saying? You see, you notice you guys have a lot of people back in Team Push. Um, you guys were in the tournament last year, weren't so successful. Now this year, it's different. You guys are in the finals. What changes did you make as an organization to come this far? Oh, we got a little more organized, you know what I'm saying? We got more players, new players, and we got Young Rhino out there, you know? Okay. Young Rhino. So what city, where do you guys represent PUSH, that organization? Where does that PUSH represent? PUSH is straight out of Lawrence Heights, you know? The people know it as a jungle, but okay. that's where we're from, you know? Okay, I don't want to keep too much of your time, though, but I know you do things other than basketball. What is that about? What do you do? Also do music. And what do you go by? I go by Iceman. How can we get some? How can we get up some info on Ice Man? Where we go? Oh, you gonna check it out at push.com. Okay. Coming up, coming near in about about two months, we'll be up full website okay. going. So if I want to get some of your music right now, can I go on YouTube? Can I? Yeah, go definitely. You, I go? YouTube. You can hit me on Twitter. All my links are there okay. at I'm so icy. I M S O I C C Y twenty three. That's me right there. All right, so he's busy. I don't want to keep too much of his time. Thank you, Coach. All right. Good luck on the game. And best man win. Best yes, team sir. win. Keep up the good work in the tournament, man. We love this thing. Keep it going on. Thank you. All right. All peace. right, I see you later. Next up, how you doing, big guy? We doing interviews halftime right now. Phoenix Classic 2013 set up. We here, we live. We got food selling. We got Urbanology Magazine here. We got the National Basketball League of Canada. We got to shout them out. Some of our great sponsors, Urbanology Magazine. We got Patty King. Just want to make sure Ryerson University is where we at, and you all know that's where we at in the Curl Hall gym right now. If you're just tuning in, you could get us actually, you can make it down here and catch a little bit of the game. It's halftime, long halftime, so you know it's looking good right now. So we have this young gentleman beside me, he's gonna introduce himself and tell us what he's from and what he's doing. Hey, uh, I go by the name Epic. I just uh, performed for the Phoenix Classic Basketball Tournament, you know, talking about any gun violence, ambition, you know, just trying spread a positive message basically for a positive event you know what i mean so i did yeah. some research on epic and i know you have your own story and history you want to tell us what yeah. that's about and what inspired you to want to come and talk at this anti-gun violence basketball tournament well there's a lot of, there's a lot of people that have died from gun violence and i'm somebody that's been near death when i was younger i was in the hospital with a virus that nearly killed me so i know i know to appreciate life and i know it's not something to, that's to be thrown away you know what i mean or taken from people and stuff like that so 
I'm very, I'm, I'm an advocate for anti-gun violence. I've had friends pass away from gun violence. I've had families like torn from gun violence and stuff like that. So it's important to come out and, and support these type of things and make sure that this stuff stops. You know? Yeah, man. So what message could we send to our peers, people just tuning in? Just a word of message that, you know, things that, you know, because that the community know, our peers know, and especially the youth know, yeah. you know, to stay away from those things because not great things come from it. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I would just say be ambitious, work very hard at whatever it is you want to do. If somebody tells you you can't do something, they're wrong. You know, just work, work very hard. No one got anywhere by being lazy. Just have ambition and do great things. Those, but that advice, you could do great things. Yeah. Epic. You also do music on a different yeah. note. How can the people get a hold of your music? What's your contact information? Uh, you can get everything on www.epicthegrand.com. E P I C T H E G R A N D. My Twitter is the same at Epic the Grand. Instagram's the same at Epic the Grand. You can grab everything from my website. YouTube videos are there. Everything. I also have my debut um, mixtape called Last Symphony Rehearsal. Produced all 16 songs. Mix and engineered it. It's my baby. When does that come it's there? Out? It's out now. It's okay. on my website now. I'm working on a new EP. Um, which will be out in December, probably. Okay. Yeah. So, Epic, thanks for being here. You coming through next year? Yes, man. Uh, of course. Okay. Have to come try. Uh, thanks, Epic is here. You know, he's showing his love, and y'all just tuning in. We have half time. I got to go soon because the game's about to start. But if you want more basketball action, you can catch us at the Phoenix Classic Undercard Tournament that will be in the Kerhoff facility at Ryerson in the month of December. High school students, they get their own little action, a little own resemblance of this. 16 teams is going to be amazing. We'll see what happens. Let's tune in. You could get a hold of us at fourreasons.com to get to know what we're doing. Fourreasons.com. Peace. Peace. Yo, boss, I'm just going to throw you my card. Oh, yeah, for sure. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you're good.
Brings it up for one way. One way time for three. Another three. This is a tail of two halves right now. And this half belongs to you, right now. Oh, first down. <laughs> Good foul by one way traffic. That's the way, no relation. Five them up. Faster basket for the delivery. We want to shout out Rep Clothing in the building, exclusively designed those Phoenix Classic t-shirts. Visit his booth right to the right side of the court. There ain't no relation. Or online, www.repclothing.ca. Wow, intentional foul right there. Oh, I don't know. Hey, I'm not going to play it. Exactly, exactly. I thought it was a solid foul. Dwayne is a grown man. As he jostles for the position of the one way inside the block. Two of these scores work defensively too. Dwayne, no relation. Down the box against one way traffic. He deals short. Chris with the board. Uh oh. One way shot. Go right to the top, man. It's a charge foul. There's a foul down there between one way traffic and the way no relation. I'm both that to the court. Yes, sir. Three fouls. With 14.43 left in the second half. He's in, up by five or push, 51 to 46. Big Shane bringing the ball up to I.E. alone. Dwayne was able to drive the ball out. This is with the left hand. I.E. alone. This is the game again. One plus one equals 11. Bringing the ball up. Not a lot of movement by you. Look at right here. So we've got to take for himself. The bubble goes up. Oh! And a tough oh, play oh. inside. Right over there, she's fouled by the Tell you 
for you, Dwayne. Uh, this is your breakfast. Come right back. Oh, LeBron, I'm not dead. You know the wild, you know the difference What's that? Defense. Defense? A lot more defense in this half in the second half. Are you sure? I'm very sure. Everything is being challenged right now. I just pushed him down the ball. But he's got... I'm not the Brian James who can handle on the wing. Bump face. Dribbles. No good. Brian James with employee number eight. Looks for one way. One way traffic. Of course, one people to look at. This is not the nice smooth. No good. Oh, the fuck was in the big boy. The bar ball. No good. I move with the board. One love with the rebound. They're looking for a hoop right now. And they gotta find someone up to play with the way on the bench. Who's going to, who's going to score for Chris with the way no relation on the bench? Side out for push. 14 seconds of shot clock. Oh! Oh, no good. Move at those minutes. 2-1, so I'm going to score that one. That's cool bringing it up. Up to 1 plus 1 equals 11. Three songs from the corner. No good. One away with the boom down. He's telling me it's a boom down. He knows they're not sick. Looking for the right play, which means. One way is up, and a finish. Every play, you must understand, you cannot stop him. You can only hope to contain him or slow him down. Something like that. Kids, mind your parents, parents, mind your kids. Let your gratitude be your attitude. Big table work. Big table work. Big table work. Big table work. Foul on the floor, on push, by the physical play down low. Substitutions for both teams. Oh, one plus one equals 11. 
turned it right back over. <laughs> Big and strong right side, Brian Boleyn to the game for East End. We have to know boxing to know who that was. Well, first team, stop right there. One, two, three, four, six. We pass the side to employee number eight. Who gets an understand the and they know they're well in control of the game. But if you were on Twitter, where would people find you? They would find me at Wall Central and the number one. And you're going to talk about the kid five. You find me hashtag kid five. Yes, I would. And where would they find you on Twitter? I'm talking about. Kids, that's I got the best. They know they can throw the ball inside the barbell. It was possession because the Wayne did not foul him. And Marbell is ready. Employee number eight, earning this game. Grab a tough defensive player. Down, moving his feet, up in his feet. Good move down low. But the Brian, I'm not dead. Okay, quick for the three right there. The same match over with him for a while. Five balls away. All right, guys, so throughout the weekend, we did have a silent auction for some awesome prizes. We have an authentic Toronto Raptors Terry Toronto signed jersey. And I gotta say, I'm disappointed because I tried to get that. I paid $35 and someone put $45, $50, 35 Then I paid $65. But then this person called Merch bid $80. So Merch, if you're in the building, you just got yourself an official Toronto Raptors signed jersey here in Toronto. Come see me at some point. And then we also had a nice prize pack from Rogers Sports Enthusiast package from Omni, City, City TV. We have a whole bunch of swag and the person who won that package is Rhea for a nice bargain of $27. Ray, if you're in the building, come see me for your prize. Now, now, please stand. Five seconds of the shot clock. Oh, turn on the driver. As the wind, oh, he's going to finish. Oh, foul by Ben Fritz. Wayne goes to the line. Yeah, I don't know if I was fouled about that. I'm going to be here. So he's 17 on the second shot. I eat alone and strike. One, two, two. I wouldn't have found him on that. So, I'm off. You know what I'm I got to go. Trying to make something happen right there. One way traffic, waiting to get back into the game. By one way traffic. Dwayne did not complete the first of two shots. I'm sorry, Dwayne, no relation. That is the extra basket. Every single one. One way traffic, bringing it up. You bring up all of this. Oh! You know what? The right way traffic threw the ball to Pippery instead of Ajax. <laughs> no turnovers allowed. Bottle check back in the game. Defense and stop. 
for Team Bush right now, and then capitalize. Right to the house. Two ones. No good. Put the return. Oh, wow. I'm down for Brock James. The lady in the warning on foot. They're making the defense work right now. As a rally from the first bank in the band, he's in the line. Goes back to a closer. One for Swampy from the 11, bringing the ball up. Oh, that's five on third. One plus one. Oh, wow, it opened up. Iron Law brought the to software, it has to be careful. One Law. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. 
Oh, 
86, so 81. Kids, mind your parents, parents, mind your kids. Put your right to your attitude. Y'all are good now. Thanks for having us. Crap. From the corner over here, man. Shake your hands right now. Shout out to the referees, the food service people. And all you people who stay to watch a very exciting and compelling game tonight. Can I get a oh, game of basketball here? Can I get the push here real quick? Go over the floor. Metal Trophy presentation. Quick round. We got pictures. If you want your metal D push come through, let me know. If not, let me know. Coach, let me know what you're doing. You coming for them? I do. Push. Let's go. Let's keep our pass. You guys had a great tournament, man. Let's finish this strong. We got a second place. Can we get a round of applause, please, for our team push? Team push. All right, Ewan. Thank you for coming on. Who's it going? Can we just get a picture with them holding it? I know they probably don't want to put it on their neck right now, but they need it. But can I get all my camera people here in the front of you, not behind me? In the front. Team push. Can you be beside me, please? Let's get a picture. Yo guys, decide we're gonna take a picture. Yo, line up, man. Let's do this quick, man. We ain't got all day, man. Face the camera right here. Face the camera right here. Helen, where you at? I don't see Helen. I know she's around, though. All right, let's go. Line up, big guy, big shit, man. Let's go, man. Know the man. I know the man. We're upset. Quick line, we're gonna get a quick photo. Be here. No, you take mine off. All right. Oh, that's all right. Sponsors, CDV. Oh, our team's gonna take a push. A team push. All the team push. Then we get all the team push left behind. Run. Look at the camera, guys. Okay, I'm okay. kidding. The kids are good. So, one, two, three. The next one. One, two, three. So, if the man that wanna come, come now. All right, they good. Thank you. Guys, up. Thanks for coming out. Second annual. Let me get the chance up for us. He's still fun runs. Can I get a round of applause for the champions, please? Oh, hey, Misha. For Misha Brown. Hey, round of applause. Can I get a picture of the champions trophy right there? He's good, he's good, he's good, he's good. 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 Ajax, Oshawa. I'll say who you have. Can we get a picture of people already involved? Hold on, before we take the picture, can I give you guys all the tickets? Show them the picture. This is the dinner for champions. You guys are the champions. All you can eat is our Wendy's, Jamaican food, all you can eat. In the East. In the East. In the East. Oh! In the East. Uh, you know what? Okay. All right, so we're going to take a picture. Yeah, the man who want to hide, you want to get in. I'm going to get in the front. We're going to be the classic. Mika, where are you at? Mika, where are you at? Mika, down now. All right, one, two, three. Okay, we're going to get two more. Adiga, 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 where you at? Adiga. All right, yo. Hold up the tickets. You step down right. Okay, one more question. Amanda, hold up the number four for four reasons. Four reasons for this tournament together. Four reasons. One, two, three. Oh, Adiga, say, okay, next one. Four reasons. One, two, three. Number one, number one. You step down right. Ah, all right. Thank you, guys, for your wonderful... Wonderful, wonderful contribution. It's a good thing. Oh, MVP of this year, Phoenix Classic. Oh, my God. Who is that? Who is that? The MVP of this year's Phoenix Classic. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. We got Margot. Can I get Margot to the pool? Hey. Phoenix Classic. I just want to put you in the MVP. There's a kiss. But we don't need this right now. Hold this for me, please. MVP, my bro right here, has it down for the great job. Boom, and also, as you promised, a $500 cash prize. $500 cash prize. Who does it go to? Give it to the coach. Coach, can I get you, please? Oh, sorry, the real coach. <laughs> the real coach. As promised, Connor, it's all there, you know, trust me. Love, thank you guys for coming out. The beat is passing and jump is over for the next 20 minutes. Shoot it out, have fun. Live your life. Yeah, boy. 
for all the official and equipment in the tournament, the funny and the short running we can get. Put up on your phone, I'll take a big picture. Oh, he put it away, he put it away. Do your thing. Yeah, that's you, that's you. Yo, give me a picture, kid, jump in the front, let's go, man. Come on, your amigo, where you at? Sasha, amiga. Amiga Tela, amiga Tela, uh, uh. Amiga Tela, amiga Tela, uh, uh. Yeah, girl, you don't gotta be in the front. Man, I'm gonna go in the front, man. This is deep. If you guys have friends, friends, you got something, don't be shy, don't be scary, we're here, baby, we're here to stay. Boom. Yeah, boy. Hold on, don't move. He said fast, he said rest, he said people. All right, they get by themselves. They by themselves. Oh, uh, he's taking it to a high. You got to get out of here before you know that. <laughs> you must. Oh, let's do one more story. Thank you guys for supporting the great club and the one by basketball tournament. See you all next year. We'll be here. See us back down. See you back channel. Peace. Yeah, I think I went by this stuff. Yo, yo, shout out to Four Reasons. Everyone looking forward to getting out. A round of applause, man. They're going to a great tournament, y'all. That's everything. I I want to win. Oh, okay. I always say Hey! Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it!
champion and MVP from my hand. Please enter the game. It was incredible. And we went to the last moment with Team Force. I just have a couple of questions. What's your name? Where did you come from? And how come you were here last year winning the MVP? What's changed for you guys? What's different? We were here, but we lost. But now we have a good coach. Okay. You know, we're from the East, obviously. But we were here last year. And we lost, but we came back and we played hard. Played a gritty team and we got the W. You had 27 points in the final game. What inspired you to take the team on your back? That's we, what the score sheet said. We're here all weekend, man. We're tired, man. So I don't want to let my team down. We're not here for nothing. So we're here all weekend, and we got the win, man. We couldn't come here for nothing. All right. That's my MVP right now. What are you doing? What's your next move? Where are you playing ball right now? Japan. I just signed to go to Japan. Congratulations on that move. Thank you, brother. Right? He has his big-ass team trophy. Yeah. And he has his MVP trophy. Early. And we had the Phoenix Classic 2013. Early. And we'll see you next year to defend that trophy. Let's get it. Let's get the coach here. Peace. Thanks right, for coming, baby. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, coach can hold that. Because this is right. It's rightfully his, too. It's rightfully yours, too. You have to keep it on your lap, though. <laughs> keep it on my lap? You said keep it on my lap? Keep it on your chest. So keep it on him. Is it? So what should I do? Take it down. Like this? Forget it. Forget it. Let's go, too. It's going to get noisy soon. We got to start. Right now, I'm here with the coach, Venus Classic. Uh, from the East End, done runs, how to get it in the footage. I just want to know, coach, how do you feel your first win in this tournament? How's it? I feel good. Last year, we entered, and we didn't really have a balanced team, but this year, we came with, we made a few changes, and we came into the championship. What was your strategy to win this game against that tough push team? Well, we knew that we had to really get back in transition and rebound the ball hard because they play really, really hard and they're very scrappy. So we knew if we got back in transition and controlled the boards, we'd have a very good shot at winning. Congratulations on winning. Am I going to see you next year to defend your champions? Yes, sir. Yeah, see you next year. Thanks for being here. All right. Phoenix Classic 2013. We here live and direct. We'll be back in a couple of minutes with Team Push and their captains. Hey, I need a team. Hey, big shits. Yeah, that's you. I'm coming for it later. We'll be back. For my whole lifetime, you have to be yeah, my whole life. Hey, yeah, Isa, Margarita. I'm not a good um. I'm not a good press conference guy. Okay. I'm not a good press conference guy. We're live guy. right now. Team Push Elites captain Shane Morrison. It didn't work out to their favor. What's your analogy? Your analogy what is your analogy of what happened out there and why did we come short? Well, I'm not gonna blame the rest, but we should have just came harder. Bottom line. Even though I can't blame them, but I'm not going to blame them. We should have came harder. That's yeah, just it. You had an incredible tournament, yeah. incredible <laughs> last final game. I'm already going to see you next year coming for this championship. Oh, for sure. Every year. I'm here. Thank support. You. It's all about support. Thank you for being no here, problem, Shane Morrison. Man. I know you're here with your family and all. All right. So any future plans, anything you want to let us know, anything you're doing? You're already a yeah. rapper now. Is that true? No, no, no. No rapping for me, man. All right. I'll just play it around. No Thank you. For me. Phoenix Class of 2013. <laughs> see you all next year. We live stream. Peace. Thank you.